Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to George Mack Plays the Classics. Here we have Alex Kidd in Miracle World on the Sega Master System. Alex Kidd was Sega's first shot at a real platformer game to compete against Super Mario Brothers. It's a good game, but I don't think it's as good as Mario. Alex Kidd is a master of martial arts shell core, which allows him to break rocks scattered around the land. Jenkin the Great has taken over the land and seeks to rule the beautiful city of Red Axian forever. Jenkin got his moniker by being the master of the game of the same name, which is rock, paper, scissor in our parlance. You'll get to play it a few times through the course of Alex's adventure. Alex jumps with the one button and punches with the two button. He also has items that he's able to use if he's in possession of them. The first one you find is the powerful bracelet which allows you to shoot a shocking wave of destruction. Throughout the levels there are star blocks which Alex can break to unveil bags of money which you can use in shops to buy other power-ups. You can buy a cane of flight which allows you to fly for a short period of time, a couple capsules, one which summons friends to help you destroy your enemies, and another which grants you temporary immunity to enemy attacks. Some levels allow you to purchase a motorcycle, which allows you to move through repetitive levels more quickly. You have to be careful though, as crashing into certain blocks will destroy the motorcycle and force you to run the rest of the level on foot. You also have access to the pedicopter on some levels. This vehicle allows you to fly through the air, but if you ascend into blocks, you'll lose your copter and once again be forced to finish the level on foot. Alex has a strong punch which he uses to break blocks and defeat enemies. Most enemies, who are not bosses, are defeated with one punch. After defeating Jenkins' henchmen and rock, paper, scissor a couple times, you'll have to fight them. Three punches to their head will defeat them in short order. There are also end-level battles against strong enemies such as an ox and a bear. You have to punch them several times to defeat them. At the end of each level is a rice ball, which signals the end of the level. Alex must collect the Sunstone and the Moonlight Stone medallions in order to unlock the Gold Crown. Once in the Vault of the Crown, there's a puzzle that must be solved to unlock it. Using the Hirata Stone will show you the combination of puzzle pieces that must be touched in order to complete the final level and win the game. When it comes to grading Alex Kidd and Miracle World on Sega Master System, graphics get a 3.0. I'll say that these graphics are nice. The colors are bright and crisp, the sprites are detailed enough to be better than most competitors. Sound gets a 3.0. The songs are good, as well as the sound effects. Gameplay gets a 2.5. I may be in the minority, but Alex moves too quickly, and the jumps feel very uncontrollable. Otherwise, it controls very well. Difficulty is a 3.0. I think the game is fair in how it works for the most part. If you dive in headlong, you'll die. If you take your time, you should get through without much problem. Fun Factor is a 2.5. I enjoyed it. I admit to cheating on the rock, paper, scissor portions because those are dumb when not playing against real people. Overall, Alex Kidd gets a 2.8 and earns a B minus. And that's just right in my mind. There's plenty of room for growth in the next title, which we'll see in about a year and a half of releases. It's definitely the best Master System game so far. That's going to do it for me today. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Head Drop Productions on YouTube, because I want you here for each and every video released, because it is your destiny.